Recording. Recording. Good. Let me make sure. Microphone is on. Cool. Uh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, let's call to order the, what, what's the date? It's February 21st, 2023, the Board of Directors meeting. Yeah, we don't need a second. I don't think we need a second. Uh, approval of Really? Yeah, it's a pass. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean that's, that's. I think yeah. yeah. We, we don't. We don't, don't need to do it, it. but we sometimes, sometimes do. It. <laughs> okay, cool. So, but, but cool. So, so we got the recording. Um, we, we did, did plenty of relational check-in. Check we're we're, yeah. we're good. Talked Talk about Copenhagen. It was great. Uh, it's not, <laughs> not exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Now we'll go into the, into the uh, additional notes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Um, Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's, let's confirm, confirm the, the date, date and time of the next meeting for uh, March. March. Uh, the second Tuesday in March would be the 14th. Interesting. It's the same as last month. Yeah, March and February are They're always like that. Are they always the same? It's 20 days. It's not. See. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be available this week. Okay, well, um, 7th, 21st, how are people feeling about this? I can't do the, I can't do the 14th or the 21st, but I should do the 7th. Okay. I assume, though. It is two weeks away. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, there's also the 28th. We want to go, we want to push it way back. Um, um that was for me. Will you be back from Europe? Yeah. Awesome. awesome, so we can hear about Europe. Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> that'll be fun. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, okay, so yeah, yeah uh, the 28th at 6 p.m. We'll, we'll, oh, will we be at, at Northampton High or at Holly? We'll be, we can be yeah. at either. Holly will be, it'll be, it'll be more taken apart, I assume, but, but whichever one's easier for, for, for you folks. folks. Holly, Holly might be safer because I don't know. There could be something going on that night at yeah, yeah, that, that, that 380. Holly. Okay. I prefer Holly. I mean, they're not doing anything there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So the 28th. Yes. End of March. Um, wait, wait, I'll be around the 28th, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm leaving the weekend before that, but only for that weekend. I should be back. Uh, okay, okay, cool. cool. Well, um, well, let's take a brief look at the minutes from January. Um, or just a group of them. But I wasn't here, so I would actually be greatly benefit from a recap. Although I have read through them. I read through them uh, this week in preparation. Who's that? Who's casting? From casting? Oh, yeah. Could you uh, bring this up? Or are you on Zoom, too? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yeah. no, never mind. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can bring it up. Mm -hmm. um, oh, oh, the, oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, this is today's meeting minutes. Uh, so you want to go to the email chain from the January meeting at the end of it. Where you posted the, the minutes from. Yeah. Or you, or you go through the um, I mean, I can. I have it. I can. I can send it in the email. I'm almost there now at this point, even though it's taking me forever to do this. Yeah. 
minutes. Cool. Um, Good that uh, remark I put in there on the April December minutes. I, it was a point for me. Our December meetings were not <laughs> diplomatic up to any standard. <laughs> what was going on with that? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, and we didn't oh, have an agenda. Yeah. I just couldn't remember <laughs> what things to do in what order to do them without it, which was embarrassing because I really thought that I'd be like, oh yeah, I could just remember. But then that didn't work out so well. Um, you know, like the whole meeting was unplanned, and this is what it is. And I don't it's like it. It's not. I don't want to call anyone out, but it's, it's like wait, the, it was not up to the standards I think it should be up to. Not at all. And I, this, this, that, that was that was a real goof, yeah. but uh, we, we also did the side so I think it's way too okay, but <laughs> if we have this is an official yeah, meeting, so we should. Um. So, so yeah, yeah, we had the, the director's report. report. That, that was cool. cool. Um. There, there was, was the high school, school report, report, which sounded really neat. Um. Transcript students can submit it. We got award C-SPAN. I think that, that's something I want to mention. Like Nora was really great. Like she picked this up. Like we talked about in the last meeting, in, the, in, the, in the, uh, last year. Uh, we're hoping to get some input from the high school, and she really, I, I was very impressed how she put this on. And, um, and yeah, they want to be put on the email for crew calls. That sounds interesting. Uh, if you scroll down a bit, uh, what else do we have here? Um, so, uh, we're talking about students working in the space, and oh, and there's going to be a follow up in late March, which is when we're going to have that next meeting. So that'll work out well. Uh, about um, about that stuff. So I'm excited to hear about it then. Um, what else happened? Officers, that's fine. Uh, uh grant stuff. We're, we're gonna talk about that probably later. And that, that was good. I think. Yeah, yeah and you, you folks did budget stuff. stuff. And, and it was a very good. long meeting. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> we, we sent <laughs> L out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and we got it a couple of times just to go back into the lengthy. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Um, I approve. I second. Oh. Gosh. All right. Uh, all those in favor of approving the January minutes? Aye. Aye. Cool. They're, They're good. good. Yes. A, a successful meeting that I wasn't there for, but looking very successful. Um, what's the next on the agenda? Director's report? Yeah. Director's report. Director's reports. We hired a new media coordinator, Yay! Devin Manzi, uh, who is now in their second week and is doing a great job. Devin comes out of work with WGBY, the PBS affiliate, and has volunteered a variety of shoots with NAM. So uh, we've had experience with Devin uh, previous to their hire. Um, they were the actually one of the 2022 producers of the year uh, last year. Um, um, we received an ARPA grant for just over $70,000 from the city of Northampton. The money is going to go to purchasing a vehicle, cameras, and intercom system, a cellular transmitter, uh, three years of service for the transmitter, it's a subscription service, um, and other small items so we can more agilely execute remote productions and that's so we can implement a mobile instruction program. Um, my hope is we can reach new segments of the community um, by, by going to where they are. Uh, people, people who are, are not interfacing, interfacing with us currently for whatever reason, they could have transportation needs, they could have um, work life issues, they could have, there could be cultural, you know, barriers, it could be a number of things, but we'd love to try to figure out ways to reach people who are not reaching us, and one idea is that we go to them. So that's one of the functions of, of, of this package of equipment, and the other is just to be able to really um, be, be more streamlined about the way and our ability to to to, to live stream remote events um, that are happening inside of key. Um, we were really happy with that. We applied to the ARPA grant. Um, we we had a tiered approach to the grant. In other words, we we when we submitted our budget for it, um, there were multiple tiers of equipment. 
um, where and we communicate to the city, this is the sort of the priority order and the order in which the chunks are important to us and the city funded the entire um, list that we gave them. So, so that, that was exciting. Um, there's, there's a full list of grantees that if anyone is interested in checking out, they're on the city website. Um, a number of people got them. Other people in this building got grants. Um, we, we did. We were we were we were fairly not. I don't want to call it expensive, but we had how much money to distribute the world? Four million dollars. Um, and. There, there were a couple, couple of grants for like 450,000 that went out to some organizations like Tapestry, I believe. Um, and then a couple of hundreds, but a lot of small ones. Uh, should we talk about the impact on budgeting and so on here, or should we do this later? Um, either way is fine. Um, the budgeting, I could say, I could say quickly, I think the impact on budgeting is going to be insurance for the vehicle. That's really going to be the impact of the budget. And, and we won't, won't know, know that, that exactly, exactly until we identified the vehicle exactly um, and gotten quotes for it. I don't have any quotes for insurance at this point. Um, I'm going to have an orientation meeting tomorrow. We formally accepted the grant, but um, there's a you know there's a there's a protocol for executing the grant, and um, they have an orientation uh, meeting that I'm going to be attending tomorrow to look into that. And then at that point, we resubmit a final budget as part of that process. Um, we. There's, There's the, the vehicle, vehicle due to its cost, cost um, is in a category where we need to get multiple quotes for it. Um, what are you looking for, like a minivan or something? Like what's the, that's, that's another, another decision we're making. making. Like, like, you know, we quoted it out for a Toyota RAV4, but, but we could uh, move laterally into something that's a little more of a van style. style. Um, if, if we, we wanted, wanted to do a particular uh, production out of the vehicle itself, meaning we wanted to put a switcher and a rack inside of the vehicle, as, as opposed to loading up a vehicle with, with equipment that we're taking out of it. Mm -hmm. so, so there's a couple of choices like that to make. And um, also, also I'll have more awareness of how, how much lateral movement we have in terms of, of you know, I suspect we could choose a different make of vehicle than the one we put inside of the grant. For instance, you know, as long as it's in a similar dollar amount, yeah. I've already looked at some vans and that are in the similar dollar amount. So I don't think that I think it's probably going to be okay, but I haven't specifically asked that question because we haven't had that conversation yet. Mm -hmm. That's one of my questions. Another one will be, how do you quote out a vehicle among multiple dealers? So you get multiple quotes when you might be looking at vehicles that are, you know, this one has 60,000 miles and this one has 80,000 miles for buying used, for instance. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple of, um, you know, procedures like that that need to become clearer. In answer, answer to your question, question I think that insurance piece is going to be the thing, thing that's going to, that we'll, we'll have to find find out how much that insurance will cost instead of population budget. Yeah, and I assume it makes quite a difference if you leave equipment there in there constantly. Yeah. yeah. Versus, is it, is it a transportation device that might make a difference? Uh, yeah. But, but if you talk about use things, then it's also a maintenance. And who's on the vehicle insurance, for instance? Yeah. Um, so there's a couple of questions. Um, most modern vehicles have them built and integrated. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and then the second thing is what is, is the impact on the, on the portfolio of work? It's a lot of money. Like, I, I mean, like, is it? I assume, I assume like, like how you talk about this, I understand, like, like if you yeah. go to the hot chocolate run, yeah. it, it, it makes your life much easier. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that saves time, which is a benefit that yeah. you can do other stuff with this at the same time. Yeah. Uh, if it's opening up, I mean, we also talked about the reaching communities, that's yeah. obviously an additional activity uh, uh, that we see what's, where this is impacting, like, then do we need other, don't we need other equipment or something like that? Is it, is it a shift of activities or over? I mean, I think it create. I think there's, it, it increases capacity, right? So in other words, as you say, because we can do the chocolate run more easily, it frees up, if anything, it frees up a little time and we can do some other things. In. Maybe we can say yes to more things, for instance. Um, and even in the sense of, you know, the hot chocolate run is, a multi-camera shoot that is a pretty large, I mean, that's a production we're looking at to scale up and make more complicated as we do it because there's lots of things we can do with it, like have 
um, you, you know, know cameras, cameras remotely broadcasting from various points in the race, for instance. instance. There's, there's a lot of production potential, potential there, but also there's a certain, there's, there's an agility to having the vehicle that might allow us to do things like just send one person out with one camera and live shoot this event. They can drive across town, unpack, have the live, the live use system allows us, it's, it, 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 it connects to multiple cellular networks simultaneously as well as any available Wi-Fi networks. It just gives you a stable internet connection. It, it gives you like bandwidth across all of those available um, networks and then breaks the signal down across them all and, and broadcasts them and then reintegrates them on the other side. So it's, so it's very stable and it's very mobile and it's not a lot, it's not, it's very portable. And so you, you could send someone out to just do something and, you know, walk through a parade or be in an event and do five or 10 minutes of live. And, and it's a more immediate and easier to produce kind of content. Too. So it doesn't have to be multiple cameras every time. It's not every time it doesn't, doesn't involve a switcher. And, but and that is more, that speaks into the van? The idea is to have to speak into the van or like... Uh, that stuff is, is mobile enough that it could be... I don't, I don't think, think it will live inside of the band. If, if we, we had, had a switcher, switcher that lived inside, inside the band, band, that would be a choice. You might, might want, but even those racks could be pretty mobile. And, and there's, there's some racks, there's, there's some mobile racks built, built into the brand as well. I think it also helps because it alleviates some of the, like, and it makes everything a little more legit. Like, I'm just thinking of something like the NEF spelling bee. It's like, I'm helping, I'm helping me look you know, thirty, fifty thousand dollars sometimes into the back of his car. And, and what happens if he gets into an accident there? I don't know the, the, the legalities yeah. and it's sort of like he doesn't have time to go to go back to the station, so he has to go home with that is and his thing. So I think that there's other kind of like on the insurance side, there's other things that we do that are just like out of the goodness of our like employees do that yeah. is out of the goodness of their heart. And it's like having that like actual vehicle and everything. We'll kind of alleviate some of the, the liability concerns that might arise that we've yeah. never not gone would had, but yeah. things to be as well. There is definitely a comfort level uh, increase for sure. Yeah. You know, getting exactly what you're talking about and not asking staff. You know, it's a question of, yeah, you know, how much does staff use their cars is a question, but at some point, if they're using them to a certain extent, which also should be compensating them for things like mileage or parking. Um, we even had a conversation about the other day because our campus is increasing parking uh, significantly between four and eight o'clock. It's going to be two bucks an hour to park. You know, so it's just something like that. What is the subscription? Like for the first three years, it's covered. How much is that? It's. I could get you that number. It's a couple hundred dollars a year. Okay, is what it is. Um, I think it's something that it's something we could absorb into our own budget. Um, and, and we selected three years because that's, that's the scope of the ARPA grant, yeah. like okay. uh, in terms of the recovery period. Yeah. Um, but, 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 but we're closed this week and also next week um, to move from this location to the other location. We typically close one week a year anyway to do inventory. We're also doing inventory during this period of time. It's a very natural time to do inventory because we're lugging stuff around and reassembling it anyway. It's, it's also, also great to have Devin on board as, as, like early on in the inventory process because then he also, uh, they also are able to um, familiarize themselves with all of the equipment that we have. Um, so that's opportunity. So I just tacked another week onto what we usually do there. Um, and that's where we are. Uh, I was contacted today by an old work connection who's now a senior lighting specialist for ESPN who's, um, who's offering to Figure, figure out how, how to get lights donated, ellipsoid fixtures, oh, LED fixtures, fixtures donated to them from ESPN. Um, I haven't had a conversation uh, about it yet, but it's it's, it's pretty exciting. It's someone who I knew years ago and worked with, and they're now doing really well at ESPN. And ESPN looks like, you know, they probably turn over gear very quickly, and these are really nice lights. And so that may have an impact on our capital a little bit, on the lighting budget in our capital. I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to say. Um, uh, we've been hosting the Youth Performance Festival in our space for six Saturdays in January and February, culminating in a live performance that we recorded um, of all the kids uh, sort of showing their dance or their art, music, um, and animations that we created over that six-week period. 
it's, it's a, a project, project that the Center, Center for the Arts, Arts uh, runs in conjunction with uh, another group, and it's a lot of uh, young people making and creating things. It's very cool. So that happened over the last month and a half. Cynthia Stanton attended her first Art Trust meeting as a as the nom appointee to the board of directors. Um, the trust has finished uh, getting quotes for the building. We've selected a general contractor, and. Um, we, we have, have a meeting with the contractors, contractors tomorrow. That's our first meeting and uh, another orientation session tomorrow uh, to meet them and talk to them about the projects. Um, it's, it's close to on budget, is what I would say. Um, considering that the budget was put together, you know, a year and a half or two years ago, um, it's shocking how on budget it is. <laughs> There's nothing as close to those prices. So actually, I, I think, think it was, it was, it was very, the number came in very, very good. good. You, you know, know whether that will be the final number, we'll see. Um, and, and some, some of the options, you know, that, that were built into the bid um, were, 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 were taken out of the bid, bid um, just because they, uh, they, they wanted, wanted to retain a contingency. And, and we'll see how that contingency gets spent out before we, uh, before there's a decision whether to add any of that stuff back in. The grant which was allocated, does it have to be used or can it be? Used later on. It, no, no, it has, has to be used. used. The, the federal, federal grant you're talking about? Yeah, yeah the, the federal grant has to be used. Um, there's, 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 there's there's a timetable for it. Is there money that the, 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 the building has? Which, if there's an aura? No. no. <laughs> the, the, the 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 entire arts trust is founded on a philosophy that there's, there's never any money borrowed, borrowed um, because it's a trust, and, and so, so it, it's not it doesn't mortgage anything. And it doesn't borrow anything, and um, and so the only so whenever there's available money, it goes into the building, and they and something is built. This should almost complete the building. There'll have to be a little bit more fundraising. Um, lighting and seats are not covered, as an example, inside of this bid. Um, they were taken out of it, so um, those will have to be uh, lighting and seats in the black box space. So that's one thing, um, as an example. So there'll still be some small pieces. Um, that, that, that will be sort, sort of remaining, remaining possibly, possibly at the end of the process. Um, ba -ba. We, we cut all of our initial grant, grant checks to recipients, recipients and um, they, they signed, signed paperwork and everyone's really happy about that. that. We, we also were happy to host the inaugural screening, the premiere, the world premiere of a, of a past grantee at the Academy of Music. Uh, Florian Martian uh, worked on that project, finding the words. It was great. And it was an incredible, uh, it was over 400 people there. I don't know if Florian knows the exact number or roughly. It was 400. Okay. So, but we had one on live stream. On the live stream. Yeah. It was I consider filling the bottom of the academy. Yeah. That is, that's a, that's a hook. Uh, so, so that was great. Um, we selected a crowdsource film for 2023. This meeting is being recorded. I won't tell you what it is. <laughs> that was really fun. Uh, so that was in conjunction with the other uh, two groups, Crowdsource Boston and Crowdsource Vermont. We're really, um, we're on, we're on the ball this year. And we, we have, have a schedule, schedule for the whole year planned out for the announcement, for the signups, for the screenings. Um, we've, we've we've hammered out the details, details and uh, we're ready, ready to go. go. I got my first design in today of the for the artwork. Oh man! <laughs> um, so it's, it's, it's pretty exciting. exciting. <laughs> um, I'm considering taking a, a chunk of our marketing budget and, and directing it towards a possible hiring a grant writer to do, do some grant writing about crowdsourced to scale the project. project. Mm -hmm. And that, that would be to try to look for grants to hire someone to scale it for next year, for 2024, and try to find more partners across the country. I think this is a scalable project nationally. And so um, we, don't, we, don't, we just don't have the staff resources to go and start pursuing things like colleges and arts institutions and film groups that are across the country. If we could find somebody to hire somebody to do that work, I think we could we could find a lot a lot of partners. We have a proof track record. We've been doing it for a long time, and honestly, one of the biggest historically the biggest reservation partners have had is 
they don't, don't think they can pull it off. They don't, don't think they can do it. It seems outlandish and crazy. And um, so and now having three partners, partners is a, a much bigger safety net for someone who's going to get on board. One, because other people have been successful doing it. And two, also that if it's someone, someone, someone doesn't really finish all their scenes, we have... Is this the major concern that you don't get all the scenes together? That's, that's, what, that's what most people are worried about. That, that you know we're going to announce this project and then if we don't pull it off we look you know we look a little foolish if we don't pull it off and no one wants that feeling and so they so they don't take the risk and so um i think we're in a good position to try to do that it'd be fun so um so considering that that's my report any other questions are welcome wow a lot of good stuff yeah it's been a good 2023 is good so far <laughs> Um, I might have somebody in mind for, uh, there's a student that I have, her mother reached out. I think we actually talked about it for um, Grant. She's a grant writer. Oh, she was, that's, yeah. She we that's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I was also, yeah, I don't know, this context, but like uh, Daniel did our PR work. She's also amazing at those things. Cool. Cool. Um, one, One question, question is uh, seven day fitness break. break. Ah, we, we have, have we have a day for that too. too. Um, it's in April. Wait, Wait it, it starts, starts in March, March, the end of March, March. and it's, it's going to be going. Yeah, we're gonna we, we're very <laughs> busy. Um, so, so that date is set. I think it's starting. It's like the last week, week of March and the first week of April. Is it a sprint? Uh oh, that's interesting. If it's the 28th, is it the Tuesday? Uh, it, it might. might. Uh, oh, I think it's Monday. So it's not, it's not, not it won't be on the day of our work. If that's what you're asking. Yeah, but it's the same week. It's okay. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's when, that's when, that's. And that's, then I don't have time for the recording. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we, we don't, we, you know, you know we, we have have haven't hammered out any details, details of what sprint's, sprint's going to look like. like. All right. You, you may look, look different. different. It's not in different ways this year, but we'll see. Um, yeah, that's it. Cool. Very good. Well, let's move to the next thing. Awesome. High school report. High school report. We have to pass it, or our high school representatives are not. Yeah. Oh, that's true. And we knew. I can. Well, I can talk about a couple of things. Um, do you know anything about the high school? <laughs> uh, we uh, just uh, submitted our round for the um, the National um, Academy for Television and Arts and Sciences. What used to be called the Student Emmys, but you can't call them anymore because they were like, yeah, you, you can't call it that. Like they, they were like, like a copyright. Yeah. yeah. Um, all even, even though, though they had for a long time, like the Emmy thing on the crystal statue. They are associated, associated but they, they don't want the kids going around saying, I want to end. Like, that's uh, basically what it was. Oh, the kids would be like, yeah, I want to see an But they used to call it, like, basically kind of call it themselves. But what are they called then? So it's just the student production works. And so, so yeah, yeah they, they had the transition, transition where it's like it's kind, kind of like a similar logo, logo but it's not like the the, the kind of holding up of the, the like, whatever. whatever. Um, so, so we got, got a bunch of them in over over two dozen in. Uh, you know, open media is great at uh, it's it can forget exactly how much like ten bucks each for each submission. submission. We also have uploaded to film freeway and are in the process of just submitting with the categorization. So we've done like 9% of the work for the Alliance for Community Media Hometown Awards. So that deadline I believe is March 1st. March 1st. We only submitted the ones for the, for the non yeah. side. So we, we kind of grinded it out right before break and we're gonna submit them. We have all the metadata that we need. Um, I think we have in that ballpark about 30 submissions. Um, so, uh, we so those are all coming out of the high school. It's all coming out, out of the school. Yeah, yeah. club or whatever. A lot of them are uh, individual or um, individual segments that are taken from the transcript, which is our kind of uh, aggregate to the news broadcast. Uh, but there's other ones that are some, we've got some really cool narrative stuff that they've been doing. 
Um, and it's and it actually happens from I think January first to December thirty first. So it's like stuff from the last semester too. So um, yeah, other yeah, projects mainly things where enthusiasts do everything themselves. So it's like oh, this is one hundred percent student production. No, 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 but in a oh, sense, it's like one person doing. The, the narrative story. And no, it's, it, it, it is groups of uh, between three to three to six, I would say. It's um, a of students. Really cool. Yeah. So, and, and that's, that's, I mean, the other, other part of this is that we, like uh, the, the the class and the, that Nola is the student user producer, that class that is managed by students, student centric class, so it's run and managed like a, like a kind, kind of professional kind of newsroom studio. Uh, it expanded from 30 kids to 40 kids, so we're going to have even more, um, even more submissions for anticipating more submissions for next year as well. Uh, so yeah, looking at that, uh, we are kind of coordinating kind of schedules and efforts for uh, the move-in to see how uh, how we can utilize that space. We've kind of currently been kind of using it for certain segments. Uh, that, that the students, students are producing. Uh, now I'm going to be moving back, back in there, so we've just been kind of coordinating the schedule and everything. Um, it also uh, opens opportunities for education and, uh, and opportunities for kind of access and knowledge. Hey, oh, um, for education for students to kind of learn what's going on here. Uh, and a lot of students just kind of poke their heads in there in general. And when we ever get the door open and kind of like ask what's going on, we're recording the meeting over there. So if you want to be on screen, yeah, the seats for you. Sorry, I can do that. Yeah, no, it's there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we were talking about some of the updates of at the high school when North, when Nam's actually back. Looking, looking at just, just ways, ways that we can have more visibility and kind of more collaboration and just having that physical space and that proximity is, is really something we forward to. Uh, looking forward to that. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. cool. Very, Very cool. cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. As we report, we have the approval of the investment budget. Tim, you're just in time for the most riveting part. Okay. <laughs> part of the <laughs> um, so this is the capital budget. Um, I actually made a couple of changes since. I see the number. Yeah. So, um, uh, Florian and I met and talked about this budget for a while the other week, and as part of. <laughs> um, this is. It's, it's in the, the it's in the board, board docs, docs. Okay. Um, and it's, it's a link you were sent some time ago. Maybe, maybe it was before this meeting, before the seventh. I don't remember when the original link was, okay. or it was like, like a previous, previous month's meeting. Then we didn't take, take up discussion of it. I think it's I think it's all the same link. Um, it's just the doc has been revised. Um, this is a legibility via Florian, um, and. So, so the, the numbers, numbers of, the, 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 there's a couple of numbers you'll see here. Um, if you focus on the right, 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 right where you are screen sharing is this orange section here. here. Um, there's three sections carry over new and plan total. So if you could just uh, insert a few lines up, up then it's or you can, you can move the left click right. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I moved this around a couple times, sorry. So here's the 2023 numbers. On um, the carryover, carryover is stuff that we did that we was, was approved last year but was not expended. So, so these are items we talked about for 2022. We're, We're not purchased in 2022. So the, the idea is carrying that back over and asking for the board, board to just reaffirm that this is part of our capital plan for 2023. A lot of this is equipment for the school. Um, the, the, there's uh, new equipment that is in detail in a tab here if you have interest in taking a look at that. Um, and, and then, then moving back, back to that budget, budget you'll see that uh, there's, there's the plan total, which is the summary of those, those items. items. At the top, you'll see our income, which, which is our reserves, as well as our capital income. income. And we're going to receive, receive our first capital check in six, six or seven years this year. Um, you probably don't recall, but you may recall 
um, that we signed the contract when the city signed the contract with Comcast, the last contract, the last contract. The city was upfronted all the capital money in those payments, and we got the back end of the capital payments. So we'll get twenty five thousand dollars this year, and then we'll get seventy five thousand dollars for the three years after it. At which point, the contract runs out, and we'll have a new contract, hopefully. Uh, the, the one million dollars is the, 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 the plan. The one million dollars is the placeholder <laughs> for a theoretical <laughs> amount of money that we could negotiate. I think that's probably actually a pretty realistic number, okay. I would say. But, but, um, but, but it'll, you know, we'll it depend on the process. Is this a seven year contract? It's, it's a 10 year contract. contract. Okay. Uh, the, the last two have been 10 year contracts. contracts. Generally, Comcast has been signing 10 year contracts every time. That's, that's sort of been their new policy. Question on when we start the official negotiation process sure. and when we should start thinking about the kind of campaign of for the negotiations. 2024 is when we should start that process. Um, the process starts by the city formally sending a communication to Comcast saying we would like to open the negotiation process. Um, you, you know, know and, and, and there's, there's like a bunch of sort of slow stuff that unfolds in the first year, year. Um, and, and towards the end of that year, or probably is when we'll start seeing um, ascertainment hearings. And ascertainment hearings means the public is invited to comment on Gnome and to comment on Comcast and to Comcast on the city's contract with Comcast that Gnome is one piece of. Um, so, so people will come and speak about a variety of issues, and one of the big issues will be us, of course. And so people will come and say things like, you know, this is incredible, and we should give them everything they need. Um, uh, so, so something like that. And we, uh, you know, we rally the community, or we, got, and we make sure people know that the meetings are happening, and they show up, and it's a public, public record, and those set the tone for the negotiations, and the city sits down with Comcast and talks about the details of the country. Um, this, um, this will be, be our, our third time, time through that process. process. So, so that's, that's pretty exciting. exciting. Um, there's, there's some things that have moved, moved around this. Um, the the 17000 item, there was a $17,000 item that's added in new stuff. That's for three years of Telview care. That's support for our broadcast server. Um, some, some stuff I took out just today, a $2,500 item that was... We don't need because it was part of the grant, the live view system. So that, that just came out of the budget. Um, and, and I pushed a couple items into 2024. So that's, that's what you see as a number yeah. in the um, those, those are basically the upgrade to the NAS, NAS edit server in here and the desktop edit systems. systems because, because the NAS, NAS server is here, we will be really utilizing it in 2023. We don't need that upgrade for it until 2024. Um, and I think those desktops can can wait until that happens. They can happen in conjunction with one another, and it makes sense. What are we currently using for this? Uh, Tiger, or it's a, it's a custom system built by by a company out in Eastern Mass. They do they do MIT servers. Yeah, they're it's great. Yeah, uh, it's terrific. I mean, and I mean it's. It's, it's also super reasonably priced for what it is. Like it's, it's custom built and it's really great. Um, questions? Uh, I, I think that the, the two questions which we already discussed yeah. can comment on this. The, the, the first, first is, oh, where did the carryover carry come from? Can yeah, we understand what is the impact on the activities, if there's any, and uh, is there any risk to the, to the endeavor? And the second one, and uh, you diluted, uh, you decreased it a little bit uh, by moving yeah. one investment further down. One concern which came up in the conversation is, uh, we're spending comparably a lot of money this year. Yeah. Uh, what, what does this mean? What's what the impact of the uh, on the on the capex budget for the next couple of years? If we spend so much money, do we have to replace something we can't afford afterwards and stuff like that? Sure. That we know what. I, I think, think what you're just seeing is this is kind of. Um, I, I don't really think that I, I don't think it has a significant impact on our ability to to 
to, to deal, deal with something that comes up because by the end of this sort of round of expenditures, mostly everything we have will be pretty fresh. And so uh, the sort of the reason why I think that the timing has happened in this way is because we haven't had capital money in a lot of years. We had a bunch of lean capital years and this is just the kind of the time in the cycle when we haven't bought cameras in a really long time. Um, and it's just a lot of replacements sort of came up in conjunction with each other. I think we're in very, I think we're in really good shape for the next years, especially considering we'll be getting those seventy five thousand dollars of uh, injections of money. We'll be very helpful in that way. Um, this is sort of, I mean, ten if seven years ago when we were looking at this conversation, this is kind of what we expected something like this would happen. You know, that we would be kind of dragging ourselves towards like this capital, this injection of capital money. And, and we're, we're trying, trying to run a little lean, lean until we got there. there. And we're, we're sort of there. So so, um, so I, I, I was running, running my head over all of our major items, trying, trying to think, to think of something that could go horribly wrong and require, require a big chunk, chunk of money. And I really don't, don't think there is anything. anything. The, the, the server, server upgrade, upgrade next year will be a, a bit of money. That's how you can already see that inside of 2024. We, we have, have a new broadcast, broadcast server we just purchased. We, we have a captioning system that's that's only a couple of years old. Um, we'll have new cameras. Um, probably, you know, there might be a tripod or two in these places, but no major items. I don't think are we're at risk from. Um, um, as, as far as the carryover is concerned, it's just a time. It was a timing issue where you know we we were not in the school as early as we thought we would want to be, and so some of those items weren't purchased. And we tend to not purchase something until the last minute because changes happen so rapidly in technology that it's like, you know, it's funny because NAB happens in April and that's when all the new gear is announced. Again, it's like February and we're about to buy things. And, and it's it, 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 like I have this conversation with Dave almost every year and he's like, well, you know, April's right around the corner. But then if we wait till April, then, then it's like, then the models don't come out to July and maybe we live a couple of our months. Then it's like, well, it's almost April again. Maybe we should So there's never, there's never really a moment where we can be like, okay, now's the safe time to buy. You should do your best. Uh, so that's what the carryover is about. Um, I don't, I don't know, know if you want to look at details of what this stuff all represents. Do you want um, to change the uh, percents, like 100% yeah. of Yeah. 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 Um, so there's some annotations on here, so you're going to see the stuff that I optioned to 2024. That's the edit network. Um, there's a couple of uh, new laptops. Um, Devin needs a new laptop, for example. Um, a streaming laptop. Uh, these are new EFP cameras to that we have not purchased in many years. Um, wireless video systems and a wireless intercom system. So the wireless video system is also sort of along this idea that we talked about in terms of agility, about just being able to go to a location and set up and not worry about cable runs. It's, just, it's a really good investment for us. It's going to save us an awful lot of time um, and labor. And so it's a, it's a, it's, it will pay for itself. Um, wireless, wireless microphones, where we just, just um, you know, we have a lot of older microphones, and it's time to to to, to sort of restock them. Um, same thing with light kits. The switcher was already approved. Um, this is we're pretty sure going to be under this number by a couple of thousand dollars, just so you know. Um, we're working out the kinks of something but I don't think it's going to work. And then this is, I mentioned, the three years of support. So this is a chunk of money, the $70,000, um, but it's 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 really $5,000 a year that we pay up for. Um, if, it, if, if the organization wanted to, our, our vendor is open to the idea of charging us yearly. I don't know if it's really uh, significant, but um, for our budgeting purposes, we we're really worried about it. We could do that. Um, it would be front loaded, a little more expensive. It gets cheaper every year you buy. Does that make sense? So if you buy one year, this is the price. If you buy two years, the second year is cheaper. If you buy three years, the third year is even cheaper. That's as cheap as it goes. What is the limit 
for contracts, contracts like this? Like this? No, 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 in the, in the sense of that, it, that you need quotes and stuff. Like, is this? It's a vendor. It's a it's a, it's a product specific support plan. So comes from the original. It's a, it's a new model of equipment. It's a new it's a new reality in equipment purchases where a lot of vendors are making money on the support plans. Some of the support plans you need, some of them you may not need. This is kind of one we need. Um, it's important to have. That is the link from what's going into the table. And that's, that's master control. control. Yeah, that's running the whole, all three television channels. And so, um, you know, just as a, uh, just as a story um, to plug the vendor, because I think the vendor deserves credit around this. When we lost, we lost a server. We were on the support plan and our server went down and uh, it was during the pandemic. And they no, no longer had like versions, versions of our server. server. They, they built, built us a server, server from scratch and overnighted it to us and had us up and running. We ran, we ran for a year and a half on it before we purchased a new one from them. So it was very kind of them. The edit computers, when it says quality six, is that new computers? Yeah. I, so it's a, I just, or, or, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. It's, it's upgrades, upgrades yeah, yeah. It's new computers. Okay. It's, it's it's new builds. builds. Yeah. New builds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Upgrades, upgrades meaning we need new computers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll still use the old computers, but not for editing. We'll yeah. use them for other things. We're still running the org. I don't know if you could leave that on the org. No. It's probably eleven years old. We use it to just kind of. Yeah, I mean, we got a good track record. Add and subtract. Yeah, like, if we still have those Mac Pros running, you could yeah. probably you could probably still edit HDMI. Possible. Um, I'm very curious about the cameras, but so EFB cameras is that the most that you're doing? That's it. Yeah, it's, it's field production. Cool. So the big, like over the shoulder ones, right? Uh, well, they they, they may not be big. big. Uh, I, guess I guess not, not with modern technology. technology. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they're field cameras cool. for people to check out. Are we building? In we haven't chosen a model yet. Cool. Ask us next week, <laughs> and then the week after. <laughs> April, April. 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 So when, when he goes, goes to NAB, he'll, he'll have some ideas in mind and him on tonight as to what, what he should be checking out. Cool. Yeah. Uh, 8,000 8, seems like a really good price for a nice switcher. switcher. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah switchers have. Yeah, yeah, I feel like they're way more affordable than they used to be. Yeah. Well, I mean, the television back in the day used to be like. 20, 20, 25 grand. Yeah. Like, well, a switcher, I mean, yeah, yeah a switcher, switcher was thirty, forty thousand dollars minimum as an entry fee into a switcher, yeah. and, and a studio yeah, camera was a hundred thousand dollars. Wow, that's yeah, crazy. crazy. I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, studio cameras was like hundred thousand dollars was three studio cameras. Sorry, that's six, six thousand and six for the for the cameras. Yeah. To get us. Yeah, yeah those nice cameras. Like, unbelievable. Yeah, that's a good camera. Cinematic. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's good. That's awesome. Uh, you, you know, know you could spend $4,000 on a camera or $6,000 on a camera, and the difference is really worth it to go $6,000 over a $4,000 model. The reason is, one, when people walk in the door and they see and they're using that kind of stuff, it just it sends a different message about what we're what we're doing. Yeah. So cool. So, so do we need to approve this? Yes, yeah, you do absolutely need to approve this because if I went out and spent this money without your approval, I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, or, or you need to say no, but one way or another. The only other question I have is, is there... So, so that there's, there's 6,000 of six cameras, for instance, yeah. is there any, is there any budgeting or how are we looking for our current fleet? 
Is there anything that we need to kind of like tweak or like to, to so, so these, these are additional cameras, but we're, we're not replacing necessarily, or are we replacing? I think those the, those, those other, other cameras are, are you know starting to limp a bit. Oh, so, so I, I, I think we'll they will just, just we're still, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so they, they will be around, and we'll, we'll hold on to them as long as we can. But I don't think we're going to be improving them yeah. Yeah. or investing in them. Mm -hmm. There's, There's not, not much of a repair cycle here. Like this. You know, yeah. you rebuy it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't have any other questions. Are we good for for that? We made all the comments. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so can we get away with four cameras? Maybe just one. <laughs> uh, okay, so we just do a regular motion to approve. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Can I get a motion to approve the what is this? Uh, the capital capital budget twenty twenty three twenty twenty three capital budget. Motion to well, you you just oh second second your motion. Cool. Uh, all those in favor of approving the twenty twenty three nom. Or no capital, capital budget. budget. Uh, Hi. Uh, Sweet. Cool. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Also, the color coding really helpful. That's all for you. It's in the same. It's in the same color palette too. So we need to have another conversation. Uh, cool. Uh, uh, the impact of purchases. Yeah, we can get over that. Um, all, right, all right, I just wanted to, to talk really briefly about uh, board, board member recruitment strategy. So, um, so as we're not doing an impact of know. That was part of the, the, the regular yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, as we know, um, the, uh, Jeremy and Melissa's days are numbered. <laughs> <laughs> but, but those, those are both really big. big Pairs of shoes to fill. Is it officially by the end of the year, both of you? Uh, yeah, I think so. I, I believe they will come around. Yeah, I wonder. Is it, is it at the end of the year or is it at the end yeah. of the That's when the term, the term is? Yeah. 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 Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're going to be looking for some more people to reach out to. And Nola. Oh, oh and Nola. Um, oh, because. Yeah, it goes on call. Yeah. Yes. No, she said, like, like that, that, that one, one? I was going to say, yeah, yeah. So yeah. she's a high school so, so, uh, so, program. Mm -hmm. So hopefully there will be, it, yeah, yeah, there's somebody that will be, you know. If you already have someone in mind, it might be really cool if Nora can take the new person yeah. under their wing uh, and yeah. have a couple of times together. Yeah. Like, That'd be nice. That we enable them both together and yeah, yeah. I'll have that conversation. That would be great. That would be really cool. Um, so I know that the last time we were discussing um, board member recruitment, uh, I had reached out to uh, my boss uh, where I work over at uh, Western New England University. Uh, his name's uh, William Arnold. And he has been working uh, live event production for a very long time. He worked at the Mass Mutual Center for like 20 years. And uh, like the university gig is like his, his easy thing now that he doesn't have to do like hardcore and like concerts and stuff anymore. Um, but yeah, he knows a lot about AV, knows a lot about tech. Uh, he knows a lot about event production. And I thought it'd be cool to try to reach out to more people who have event production experience, looking forward towards doing more fundraising things with this organization in the future. Um, so just a question, those are both in elected positions? Yeah. Mine is. Yeah, they are. So, okay, so we have the... Yeah, we, recommendation for individuals who to give them information in the event that they want. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, which is why it's beneficial to actually reach out to a lot of different people than yeah. they all run instead of just like one person and be like, well, it's you now. Yeah, and um, that historically, we've had, had no people. people. And yeah, that's, that's and that's yeah. So that's why I definitely want to reach out as many people as possible. I think he's definitely um, a, a good candidate. Uh, before, uh, when I had reached out to him uh, the last time around, uh, he had a bunch of stuff going on, but I know that you know, coming, coming up, he won't, won't have that going on. So he's more free. So, so he'd, he'd probably be interested. 
um, but, yeah, but yeah, I'm definitely, definitely looking for suggestions. suggestions. Uh, Do you want to form a subcommittee? Oh, we could form a subcommittee about it. Um, yeah. Who wants to um, be part of that? <laughs> I have a general question. Sure. Like, after you've been on the board for a while, like, say you were up and then I'm out, is there like a, a period where you can come back on the board? Mm -hmm. Like, have you been going for two years or is it like, like just like presidency? Like, you know, <laughs> take a little time off the room. Yeah, that's a good question. question. Honestly, it's probably the. the I don't remember seeing something of the bylaws about that, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is in there somewhere. I think it's, it is it's something. There's a year. It's like nine years. Oh, no, that's the that's, that's the cap. That's the cap. But there's I think there's something about. I want to say there's something about being on staff and having to wait a certain period of time after your staff to be on the board. I think that was you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a year. There, there was, was a discussion. discussion. That's, That's the only thing I think there was. There was, there was some discussion about, like, well, this one's staff. You don't want them to just pop onto the board all of a sudden because it's, 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 there's a potential for some just weird stuff. After yeah. They're staff. After they're not staff. Like, so. Mm -hmm. See, regardless, regardless of that, I'm saying that's the only thing that I think is in there. I don't think there's anything specifically about. I don't know if people look. But also, regardless, that's a. That's, that's after there is a recruitment phase. Yeah. yeah. So sticking, sticking, sticking to this point, point, I would say that if there's a subcommittee, I'll, I'll be on it. I'd really like to continue a legacy of having a representative from the schools. Mm -hmm. I think that having the school committee is members is, is good, but having somebody kind of boots on the ground in the schools yeah. is really um, in with like that direct connection to the students is important. Uh, for division. What was that? Yeah, yeah I, I can. I can. Eight five people right now. Oh, wow. Okay, nice. That, that's okay. Good. Like the school yeah. committee for me is a little bit a lost cause. Actually, a little bit sad that Michael is never showing up. I don't know how to the approach this in a. I don't know. It was just recorded, but that's like historically. Okay. I don't know. Now how we. Yeah, yeah that, that never was, was a, like, like an act member, member too. I, I think, think that, well, now we're for two years, years is something that they have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 Maybe I, I I guess, guess yeah, yeah I, guess I guess it would kind of make sense, sense at, to her being part being part, 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 part of that committee specifically doing that. Uh, so, so we'll reach out to her about that. Um, what is the yeah, I think it's what, what is the timing when do we have to elect people that have been in the in the there's a nominating committee that forms in you know, like August or September, and you need at least a month to open nominations. To have nominations open for at least a month, and then you should, and there's another month after nominations in which you should have to hold the election, and then then they can be appointed. So so there's like at least two or three months before the April meeting. I think you want to target. So August is the right time to form that start that process. So we're actually pretty on the ball, or even July. And then the well, the other thing I was going to say is that. I think, I think we've done, done this in the past, past is that uh, um, having the members who are phasing out still attend the budget, the all important budget meeting, if they want to, or we, I mean, if we can do that in December. Yeah, yeah, we should do that's, 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 that's I think, the, 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 the good reason, another good reason to have the budget discussion by December at latest for a vote yeah. is that you have a, a legacy of people who've been. been on the board, board able to consider, consider the budget for the next year because yeah. they're, they're still on the board. Makes sense. Okay. So that's, so that's just a matter of staying on our financial track. Our, our time. Cool. One, One other candidate, uh, uh, I don't know if he's already busy with the ads board, but since he was there, yeah. So yeah, that might be. I, 
Also, also keep in mind that the annual meeting doesn't have to happen in December. It can happen in October, November, or December. Well, that's not going to have ourselves. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'd love to have it a little earlier. Are, Are we going to be able to do that? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm working on it. Uh, <laughs> this is going to happen. Um, okay, so. But, but yeah, yeah, okay, cool. cool. I think that's a good start. Um, and we're uh, on a good timetable with that. So, so accountability, accountability for processes, processes and minimum standards. standards. I, I just want to bring it formally up again. Like we, we the, 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 the December meeting was not a glorious meeting. Uh, we had the, the, the meetings were not glorious. Um, Ellen and I have a lot of conversation, and we we will try to bring this out um, throughout the time uh, about uh, finance processes. What like we approved the budget today, but what it's not very clear what happens if there is some deviations from that and stuff like that. Uh, I, I don't have anything specific, but the, how can we avoid those things? Like the formality is um, that we hold ourselves accountable for what's the minimum standard. Sure. Uh, well, we have the board procedure stuff that we were working on at the last workshop to, to revisit the workshop thing. Um, and I do feel like when we do the next workshop, which I'm really hoping for like the spring or the summer, uh, we can finalize that document. And I'm hoping that that document will just serve as the guide for that stuff. Um, I agree with you that December was bad. <laughs> the, uh, although, on the other hand, yes, that didn't go well, because I didn't do a good job with the agenda, but usually our track record on the whole is actually very good. The idea that we have a Google Drive folder where you can instantly access everything for over how many years to go back in there? Like, like, we were very organized. organized. That, that was, but definitely agree on the sense that that was, <laughs> we could have done a definitely better job. Yeah. But the idea that we did, that we've implemented recordings of all of our meetings, have our meeting minutes free, freely available. The email records, some, that was some sort of way that we could put this, like make the, the folder kind of like just kind of like embed that kind of that entire thing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I, th I think that overall our, our standards are pretty good while being at the same time a little bit more of a casual board than some of the other things that need to strictly adhere to Robert's rules board. So like a school committee or city council meeting. We, we, we get a little bit lax there. I think in December we got a little lax on the actual putting everything together. Like, like one, one thing which came out of this, like, like if you're not here, like our um, backup is not very clear who does what, like we don't have mm -hmm. uh, replacements in place for those uh, elements. What happens if uh, the, the president and the vice president is not here? Like that was a little bit for today's date was the reason why we moved it to today. Yeah, um, I, on, on that same note, I think that one of the biggest things for us actually is remind, like, Having a, a, a protocol for reminders, like, like maybe one, one week out, out, one day out, mm -hmm. because I think that a lot of us are like, you know, he had to tell me, like, I had it in my calendar thing, thing like, like on my Google, Google calendar, calendar, on my phone, but I have an alert that, that it does like 30 minutes, but you told me at the beginning of the day, because I was like, hey, you want to play board games? <laughs> so I was like, oh, yeah, we have that meeting. And usually I'm scrambling or doing something like that. Um, so we have some sort of protocol established that we can have, like, by one week, here is the, mm -hmm. the agenda, here's the, the whole minutes, we need to review them. And here's the old report. Yeah. By one day, here's that. I think that that would get us a little bit more. Kind of yeah, as well. totally. Um, yeah, yeah, I try to typically do the week out thing. This month it was weird because we were going to do it yeah. way earlier in the month and, and then yeah, and then pushed it back. back. But, but, but yeah, that's, that's definitely, definitely something to put into the board policy, policy document, document, I think. I mean, I, mean, I am really glad, glad that some of the things we already have in there have been implemented and been working pretty well, which is what you spoke to, the recordings and then also the um, the email records stuff. So, so yeah, I think that if we can like finalize that and you adding to it, like stuff uh in like you were just talking about of like when the meetings go out reminders things like that and get those all in the document when we finalize it i think that'll be great so which brings up another thing uh if somebody could on the google on that google thread go to the print button and then save as a pdf that consensus 
um, vote that we had. We had a consensus consensus vote for yeah. last meeting. On the, on the yeah, if you can put oh. that inside of the. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I thought you already did that, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I did. Or I can do it too. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're we're taking the approval to today again, so. Yeah, yeah. Just, just to have those. But, yeah. Oh, but that implementation did work really well in terms of making sure the email got out, everybody everybody yeah, voted on it, um, we made sure everybody responded, and they did so in a timely manner. So I was really happy about that. Uh, but cool. Okay. Um, I'm curious. What happened at the December meeting? <laughs> that, was, that was the budget meeting. Oh, no, no, wait, no, it wasn't. No, January was the budget meeting. It was the meeting. So in your meeting, we, we were you at the, the parlor room. The parlor room, yeah. yeah. We didn't have good Wi-Fi. No, no one had their devices. Oh, yeah. we, didn't have, we didn't have our shit. It was a mess. I don't know basically. Yeah. And then I know this is a very diplomatic thing, like the... The, 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 what the board should, what, what is the expectations of board members in, in terms, terms of, of being here? And like, like I, I don't know how to approach the topic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what, what, what is minimum requirement that makes sense? sense? And uh, I don't know how to, uh, for me, it's about uh, Mike Stein. Uh, mm -hmm. We're missing out that we have someone out here. And, it, and like, I, I know in the conversation, it's about the school has the option to be represented here and the school oh so do we have recourse to be like hey oh we, we, this, you, this person is not regularly attending can like you send us someone else or something like that yeah, yeah. like that, that's just a question what is like sometimes we run into the problem that we don't have enough people here for different reasons and remember i don't know what that means and if it's even worse pursuing we would have some recourse but it seems very dramatic but yeah how can we is it necessary that we make sure that that all the board members show up on a regular basis, or is it okay how it is? It's... Yeah. So, so just give, giving a little bit of color in that. Uh, historically speaking, we had, had like Melissa was alluding to it. Um, we've had times that it was good. We, we are of, of like a lot of participation. We've had times where it's went like went. Um, the the, the biggest, biggest thing that I would say on our end is, is that we could be a little bit more proactive in our relationships with uh, with kind of on, on the school committee side. The other component of this is that I think it got really severed from two things. One, COVID, uh, and just the idea that it, it shut down a lot of events, shut down a lot of things that were going on in schools, and that collaboration and that relationship that we've really seen uh, didn't have a chance to kind of Kind, kind of withered, withered because they didn't have a chance to expand. The, the second thing is, I think that there is a level of, uh, from that COVID time, there has been a turnover on the school committee. So that has led to some some non-understanding of how things have been processed. So there's two things. One would be the, the kind of acknowledgement on the school committee side of, you know, Making, making sure, sure that there is some sort of commitment. commitment. It, it is in the it's in the ch our our bylaws or our char like the charter with the with the city. Forget, forget exactly how that is, but it sometimes feels as if it's a um it's just a requirement that they have to kind of go through the just the it's it's a um what I'm, what's the word that I'm looking for? It's, it's something that's just put in writing. But, but it should, should it shouldn't just be something that is they are on the board, right? right? They should there should be that participation, is what you're saying. Maybe it's worth reaching out to Mike and, 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 and asking like how can we make it that it's that yeah. it works better? Like obviously that's the, the first thing we should do. But uh, like and I what I hear from you is it's based on the individual person that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Also on the on the school committee and the arrangements of the school committee and the priorities, I think that there's um there's a lot going on with the, with the within the confines of what the school committee is dealing with with the new superintendent. It's a lot of turnover in principal base, so there's been kind of reprioritizations of certain things. They've had an increasing amount of kind of side meetings that they've had to attend as well. So there's a, there's a lot going on over there. I'm I'm a little bit just because I'm tuned into the schools. I'm a little bit on, more on the kind of like. The understanding level that there's a lot going on while at the same time 
and we'll kind of change our meetings around so we don't have a set time, you know? So, I mean, none of these are necessarily excuses for not having participation, but, you know, we, we could also do, our, our casualness is also something that kind of factors in as well. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think I would summarize it from the known perspective, perspective in a way. Everyone, everyone is contributing to the to uh, the success of Gnome and to the board, and we are losing out on our opportunity that like we want to hear from this world. And so and, and obviously you are doing this and knowledge yeah, yeah. so we are it is a, a strong connection, but this is another avenue. So it would be nice. It is very important though to get to to strengthen those relationships because as we enter that new contract. And as we talk about utilization of space, those are two different, I mean, we're in the 10, we, we signed that 10 year lease, but where are we at with that? We're at year five or six. It's the, it's the same timing as the contract. Okay. So there, that actual physical presence of 380, if we don't have, you know, advocates on the school committee side, that could, that could, um, that could lead to. Uh, some headaches for us down the line as well. well lose, 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 would it be a devastating losing that space as well? Would it make sense that you as president reach out to him or maybe you as the school person and talk to Mike and how we can, like, is there anything we can do? Yeah, no, I mean, the, as you said earlier, the, the first thing to do is to just reach out to him and see how we can, and I will do that. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll, I'll second it. Well, we started at like 6 30, yeah, right? So we're all Our punctuality is something else. All those in favor? Bye. 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 B